once he has surgery to repair the ankle that was quote unquote explained with the Austin attack really didn't have anything to do with it. Austin's going to break into his house here in Walton, Kentucky and his wife, Brian Pillman's wife, Melanie will be there and they're going to tease that we don't know what's going on, but when Pillman pulls a gun, we lose transmission. You've seen it all in wrestling. Did you know at the time this ain't a good idea? Yeah. I thought it was too much. I thought it was unbelievable. You know, pulling a weapon, you know, that you ostensibly kill someone with. It's a little too far from pro wrestling. In my take, in my opinion. So yeah, I thought it was way overboard. But two of my favorite people endorsed it. Pillman and Austin. Right. So what am I, what am I gonna do? I, I talked to him about it. I said, I don't think it's going to work because it's totally unbelievable. It's, it's, it's beyond the realm of, po- of possibilities. Nobody's, of course, their defense was nobody's ever done it. So it's a big deal. You know, give us, give it, let's give it a shot. It's be, don't be unfair. Blah, blah, blah. But I thought it was just a little bit too much. Vince loved it because it was different. It was sensationalistic, it was sensationalized storyline. And it was, uh, it was hard to swallow for me because I just thought it was, we're way over the top on this. If they were to roll their eyes, oh, they, they get a bullet stack and they don't kill nobody else. Brian's not going to shoot Steve. So <clears throat> that's where we're aware of that. I thought it was too much. 